Two days ago, I had a online tutorial on how to accomplish the IPCRF. However, it is in Visaya, so there is a language barrier across the Philippines. So we decided, since we realized that there are a lot of teachers who need assistance on how to accomplish the 2019-2020 electronic IPCRF, so we decided to conduct an online tutorial with special guest po from DepEd Central Office. Please help me welcome Sir Angelo Uy from the BHROD. Sir Angelo Uy, pakita ka. Ayan! Hello po, I'm Sir Jello and I'm from, ano po, uh, from the Division of Kenyan City in Region 4A Calabarzon. Bali, ano po, assistant principal to ang item ko sa Division of Kenyan City pa detail to the, ano po, to the Central Office uh, Bureau of Human Resource and Organizational Development. So dun sa development naman po ng ano ng electronic tool for the IPCRF. So actually I'm assigned to oversee the development. So kaya po I have the the first hand experience as regards the development of it. Ayun sir Daniel. Okay, ayun so thank you for that Sir Angelo Uy. So again, this time we're going to have a tutorial on how to accomplish the electronic IPCRF for school year 2019-2020. So with me to so discuss the IPCRF and how to accomplish it and give a little background of it, we have Sir Angelo Uy coming from the Fed Central Office, HROD, HRD. So Sir Sir Angelo, handa ka na bang tumulong sa mga kasama nating kaguruan? Hello po, mukhang ready na po. Uh, okay. Sir Let's give the time to Sir Angelo to discuss the electronic IPCRF for school year 2019-2020. Sir Angelo. So start po tayo dun sa ano, sa pag-access or pag-download nung electronic tool natin for IPCRF school year 2019-2020. So uh, as you can see on my screen, there are two links na available po kung saan natin pwedeng kuhanin ang electronic tool na IPCRF. So first is depet.in slash IPCRF and code 2019-2020. So that's the depet.in link, the shortened link. And then as you can see on the screen, the second link is the, ayun po, medyo mahabang link na yan na uh, also will direct you to the Google Drive where the IPCRF tool is uh, found or is located. Sige po, try po natin. Okay, so I, I actually already clicked the first link. Ayan. So, um, kung makikita nyo po sa, ano, nung kinlik ko yung unang link, the shortened uh, depend.in link, uh, it will redirect you to a Google Drive wherein you can find two files. First file is the DepEd Prescribed IPCRF Parts 1 to 4 file for school year 2019-2020. And another one is a uh, Data Privacy Act Notice na image file po siya, you can click this and uh, read the contents of the Data Privacy Act notice. Bakit po ba kailangan and, natin ng Data Privacy Statement para po sa mga uh, actu uh, Actually po, uh, kailangan natin ito gawa ng uh, the IPCRF tool will collect uh, as, uh, as many information na kailangan para po ma-analyze yung results natin for the RPMS of 2019-2020. So even na uh, marami po tayong kukunin ng mga information, from each teacher, so kailangan po alam nila kung saan, kung saan mapupunta yung kanilang mga information at saan ito gagamitin. So as you can see in the DPA notice, so nakalagay po is by downloading and using the IPCRF electronic file, I agree to allow the Department of Education collect and process my data. And uh, the, the user, the teacher, also understands that the collection, processing, retention, and disposal of all my personal information will be done in accordance with the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Safe po ba sa mga guru na mag-input sila ng mga data dyan po? Uh, yes po, kasi ang makakatanggap ng mga information is selected number of people lamang naman po to gather and to analyze the information na ilalagay po nila dito. Doon sa una namang file na nakita natin sa Google Drive, if that's the Depend Prescribed IPCRF file, so what we will uh, need to do now is to download this from the Google Drive. So pwede po ang gawin natin is to download both of these files, pero for the purpose of uh, today's uh, discussion, so doon po tayo sa my, uh, ang i-download ko muna po is the first file, okay? So what we can do here is to actually uh, right-click and then uh, click download. So more or less, uh, ang file po na ito will 
proceed to your uh, downloads folder. So as you can see dito po sa ilalim sa may uh, bottom left po ay nakikita natin na na-download na siya. So what we can do now is to click this or I can go directly to my downloads folder. Okay? So sa downloads folder ko po, ito po yung folder of the DepEd prescribed IPCRF parts 1 to 4 school year 2019-2020. Sa da downloads folder ko, nandito na po yung a uh, zip folder siya. Right click the folder, the zip folder. And then what we can uh, choose uh, from the options, I extract all. Okay po. So I'm doing this now, extract all. And then pwede niyo pong hana, uh, pwede po kayong maglagay kung saang folder niyo po gustong mapunta yung file. So but uh, ang gagawin ko po is dito muna sa may same folder na ito so I can do the extract. So, as you can see uh, ito po yung zip folder kanina pero na save na rin dito sa same folder na ito yung uh, hindi na siya hindi na siya zip folder so it's a, it's a, it's an ordinary folder of files and then uh, with the same file name and then if I click this nandun pa rin yung same file pwede ko po siyang actually i-copy uh, uh, and paste dun sa desktop ko uh, ito paste ko po siya Nandito na yung file na pwede kong gamitin. So, pero pwede naman po din na uh, doon na sa mismong downloads folder tayo pagsimula. Ayun po, Sir Kaloy, for the uh, uh, downloading and extracting the, the file.